Wow, isn't this beautiful? This is a 1969 in County Wicklow. It was taken for a catalogue on Irish wool. Look at the colours, look at the work they had to do pre Photoshop days. This one is from uh, 1965 and it's from Harper's Bazaar magazine when they came to Ireland and shot a number of photographs around Ireland for their uh, a fashion shoot. This one was in uh, County and uh, Cork City and it's the model with some of the locals getting involved in the uh, shoot. This one is Dorset Street in Dublin 1, an ad for the Wimpy Cafe with Phil in it there at the counter before he became really famous. And that was an advert from New Spotlight magazine in 1968. This is Kate Bush uh, at Dublin Airport, arriving for the Late Late Show appearance. And that is uh, possibly uh, Beyonce's dad, it's Sonny Knowles. And uh, he's giving her a lift on the trolley. This is Madness at Madigan's Pub in Talbot Street, Dublin 1. Sugs there. And of those five images you've just seen, like what's, 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 why do I like them so much? Well, they're, they're very unique. They've never appeared online before. No, well, not until now. Until recently, I started a, a blog called a Brand New Retro, and I took these very interesting Irish uh, media and scanned them and put them on my website. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a little bit, that's just, there were just five of over 2,100 images that are, are currently on the site. All of them unique, never previously been on the web. Why did it start? The, start, the, blog, the website started as a blog, a personal blog, because I was involved in a fanzine in 1978. This is one called Too Late. And I realized uh, just over two years ago that none of this stuff was digitized and didn't appear on the web. I was also in a number of groups, and I realized that all our work, all our photos and stuff, was nowhere on the web, even though there was a lot of archive sites about music, we weren't there and we, were, we weren't bad. So I needed to uh, rectify this and uh, scan and publish it. And then as I started doing that, I realized, well, actually, it's not just my own personal stuff that is not on the web. There's lots of other really good stuff. And I looked at my fanzine collection, and this is fantastic, a fanzine called Heat. Look at the artwork and the graphic work there, also from 1978 by uh, in Dublin. And then it wasn't just fanzines. I realized all the magazines I had as well, you know, there was this very little trace of from the web at all. So I said, if it's not on the web and I find it interesting, I will scan it and put it on the, up, up on the website. There's just some of the examples of the um, things. So, of course, with all these magazines, in the magazines, there's loads of really good adverts. Uh, this is one for the Golden Disc in the uh, Stillorgan Shopping Centre. Uh, this one, I think, is 1968. Um, and uh, really, it's one of the examples of a really good uh, ad. Here, because we're here at um, Electric Picnic, some examples of uh, old festivals. The one on the left, the Grey Lake, I'm sure you all remember it, in um, uh, Loch Ray. Great graphic design there. And then this one was a pop flop, a uh, big festival in 1970 at Richmond Park, Dublin. Tin Lizzy, Mungo Jerry, who had just been number one with, uh, in the summertime. Uh, only less than a thousand people turned up. It was a massive flop, they lost a fortune. Lifestyle ads, holidays, holiday at home, go to Talbot Hotel, plenty of parking, or go abroad, join the JWT set. But it's not just uh, print media, it's also anything that's Irish that looks beautiful like this. This is an album cover for a religious uh, album uh, issued by Mercier Press in Cork. It's uh, designed by Cork Lassen. And amazingly, that wasn't on the web before. It's so beautiful, it has to be. Okay, and then over time, the site just grew and grew with all this content, and then it became a, a virtual magazine. And the left-hand side there, that's your content. It's, so you've got uh, football, beside music, beside fashion. We even have an agony ant section. And then you can easily go into the material by clicking on the tags here. And then what I also like about it is that things have just kind of taken a new lease of life. This 200 Reasons in Dublin from 1984 suddenly took a new life. Uh, the Totally Dublin magazine uh, put their version of the modern day 200 Reasons as did, as did Le Cool Dublin. This is my, one of my favourites. It's a hairdresser it's called The Witch's Hut. Uh, uh, Robert Chambers is still on the go. He got in touch and says that yes, the guy at the top, uh, Tony Rogers, is now 80. And these guys are all still alive except for uh, Vince. It's also a sign of the times. When the ballroom scene was dying, what did people do? This guy had an innovation, innovative idea of going on the road with a big truck and Star Trek mobile disco. He got in touch with me from Australia subsequently. He said, I can't believe this is on the web. And he started telling me all the stories about what life was like back then. This goes back to the photo shoot in Cork. Uh, the building behind it, people in Cork took an interest. Where is that building? Where, where is it? And they had a whole uh, Twitter thing to find out what it was. They discovered that the building had been knocked down. Time for breath. 
Okay, and the last thing, this was a group that I put up, one of my groups called uh, Choice Electronic Group. Uh, nothing, very little on the web about them. I put it up on the web, we put a demo tape up. Last year, uh, two years ago, a guy heard the demo, liked it, he put it on an album, we got a record out, and yesterday we played at Electric Picnic. <laughs> Thank you very much.